In my experience, I have never encountered a city as chaotic as Mumbai, and I loved it. As they say, it's a city that never sleeps. It's known as a city of dreams. But something was about to change. Good afternoon. Thanks so much. Wow, this place. It was amazing to see how tranquil and different this place was from the craziness of the big city. As soon as I arrived, a sense of tranquility washed over me. Was I still in India? Wow, look at this place. Ah yes, I love these little touches. I think we're going to be very comfortable here. Ah, so nice to be here. But of course the cuisine is what I'm here for. So let's go for lunch. We started with this beautifully charred local chilli prawn and Caesar salad. Followed by a spicy goan crab curry. Such a complex spicy gravy and so delicious. And we finished with this magnificent berry cheesecake. What a great start. It was time to unwind on the beach and enjoy a chilled beer and champagne. Sabridge is a technique of opening a champagne bottle using a sabre or a sword to remove the top part of the bottle's neck. This was perfect with some sushi California rolls. Okay, so let's get bubbly again. Can you find that one? We were treated to a spectacular celestial experience of stargazing, which was then followed by an exceptional private dinner inside a bubble. This is what they call the celestial dinner. You're in this little bubble, it's very private and very romantic. I'm going to enjoy it. Cheers. We were served flavoured garlic naan. There was mixed curried vegetables and steamed rice. The ubiquitous Indian raw vegetables. Some spicy prawns in a tamarind and spice curry. And clay oven cooked chicken with a rich tomato and cashew gravy. Ah, the flavour was exquisite. An enchanting moment that we will always cherish. The next morning, I had the desire to explore the far end of the beach where the river meets the Arabian Sea. The sand is squeaky here. As the sun begins to rise, you'll observe the fishing boats departing from the river and heading towards the sea.
I am so excited to try the local Indian breakfast this morning. Authentic Andhra style dosa, which is made of all vegetables, tomato, onion, green chili, coriander, the powder which has been sprinkled on the top, and that is authentic powder which has been used in all the South Indian homes. So this is called gun powder, also called kara. So kara powder, and that's a Mysore masala dosa. Thank you so much. Thank you. A delicious South Indian breakfast. That's a tomato chutney and that's a sambal. After an exhausting swim in the ocean and some weightlifting, it was time for lunch. So this is what they call a picnic at Serenity Island. And traditionally it's reserved for celebrities who want to be away from the public and have a private area to themselves. And there's even a play tent for small kids. Here we are in one of the many kitchens of St. Regis Resort, and I'm here with the uh, executive chef, Chef Gaurav. So Chef Gaurav will demonstrate how to prepare a basic butter chicken dish. So this is a very easy recipe actually. It takes little time, but you can prepare things in advance. The gravy needs onion, tomatoes, and some cashew paste, the base. The gravy has already been pre-made using peppercorn, clove, green cardamom and cinnamon. He starts with a little oil, some butter and garlic. Then we take the gravy. The gravy is made by boiling tomatoes, onion, cashews, the spices and then blend it together. More butter because that's what the name is. Yeah, butter chicken, yeah. Yes. Some fresh cream and very, very important ingredient. This is fenugreek. This is something which gives the very unique taste to this dish. But this is basically a Kashmiri mirch which gives only the colour, not spiciness. This is easy at home in the restaurant also because this is boneless. The chicken was pre-cooked using a tandoori oven. You can use sugar or the best way is to use is honey. A bit of sweetening? A little bit of. I'll add a little bone of cream. Fresh coriander. And it's best enjoyed with naan or roti. We also enjoyed many other meals at St. Regis. The naan or flatbread is first flattened, then using a special soft pillow, it's pressed onto the side of a wood-fired tandoori oven. It can be made in different variations. This one is garlic and herb. The process requires skill and patience, but results in a delicious and flavorful bread. Perfect for dipping, scooping, or eating on its own. They also brush with butter before serving. And now for a pre-dinner beverage crafted by our expert mixologist. I have yet to encounter someone with such extensive knowledge in this field. A true master mixologist. I can hardly contain my excitement as we make our way to the Riverside restaurant. 
but what lies ahead has taken me completely by surprise. Despite being in India, I suddenly had the sensation of magically being transported to Italy. Today we are enjoying breakfast at the manor. It's a different side of the resort. I love the peaceful ambience and the sounds of nature here in the morning. Our meal comprised of healthy assorted fruits and these delectable eggs benedict. We also had a little friend join us. Given its proximity to a fishing area, it's no surprise that the seafood here at St. Regis is always fresh. The resort takes pride in its sophisticated seafood grill and Asian-style restaurant. The prawns here are large in size, so order by weight and enjoy a meal on the shores of the Arabian Sea. Sadly, we must bid farewell to this gorgeous paradise resort. Get ready to experience pure excitement in the next video. We'll be staying at a stunning villa, indulging in more mouth-watering Indian cuisine and even exploring a mysterious Fort Island. So don't miss out.